So the last video, I, I got really excited about model categories, but um, I need to tell you some things first about vibrations and co-vibrations. So I first, I'm going to tell you about uh, co-vibrations. So, so there's kind of two really important classes of maps in algebraic topology, and that have kind of invaded, and this co these concepts have invaded pretty much all of math uh, of of like uh, mathematics. Um, into algebraic geometry and, and other places. Um, so, uh, and, and so I'm, I'm just kind of, and, and so what I wanted to tell you was, I wanted to tell you that this mapping cylinder thing um, uh, was uh, an example of a factorization theorem, okay? So, so let me, let's just kind of recall what happened is that, so, so given a map of topological spaces, right? So what did we do, right? So, well, we have X here, Okay, and then we had y down here. Okay, and what we did is we made this mapping cylinder thing. Right, because this is like a cylinder glued on to each other. Okay, so, so this thing retracts onto here. So the thing, it, okay, so there's this inclusion here. Okay so, uh, okay, so this thing is the mapping cylinder. This is y and this is x, okay? So uh, any map between x and y factors through the mapping cylinder like so. And the point is, is that this map here, this top map here, this is, okay, we, we, this map is a co-vibration. Okay. Okay, th this, these are things that be behave well with respect to homotopies in one way. And then we saw that this one here is a homotopy equivalence. Okay, so we had a deformation retract of this onto just this y piece, right? <coughs> uh, and because we have a deformation retract, that makes these two pieces homotopy equivalent. So up to homotopy equivalence, any map like this can be written as a cofibration if you're allowed to just kind of like identify these two since they're homotopy equivalent. Okay? Um, all right, so now uh, it begs the question, what is this special property that this, that this um, cofibration has? Um, uh, okay, so what do we want to say about this thing? So the definition is that, um, uh, so I from A to X is a co-fibration uh, if and only if it has uh, the homotopy extension property, okay? Um, and so, uh, uh, so this is the, hum okay, so I, uh, okay, so now I need to say what, maybe I should write this out one time. This is the homotopy extension property. Okay, unsurprisingly, this is about extensions of homotos ho uh, homotopies. Okay, and so let's just recall real quick there, that there's a couple ways that we can think about homotopies. Right, so we had, um, so the, the kind of most standard way is that we have this map F, let's see, is this bright enough? Yeah, okay. We have this map F into another space, okay? Uh, and, um, and so what we think of this is, is we think of this as kind of uh, interpolating these two maps. So we have F0 of X, okay? This is F of uh, uh, X0. And we have f1 of x, and this is f x1, and then uh, we kind of have a whole family of maps between these, right? So this is this is the the uh, homotopy here, okay? The, but um, by a junction, right? Uh, this thing is the same thing as um, uh, a to, okay maps from i to w. Okay, so th we can all, and we'll also just abusively write this as f as well. Um, all right, or, or, we, or another way to do it is, is uh, uh, and this is also the same as maps i, we can also write this as f. Okay, so all, so these are the three ways of writing this. So this is one, two, and three. So one, two, and three three ways of expressing the same thing. And, 
is that you have a family of maps, okay? This way, it's a, they view it as a family of maps where if you fix an A, you get a map from I to W. And this way, if you fix an I, like an element, like a time, then it'll give you a, a map in spaces. And then these, both, both of these things have uh, uh, the structure of a topological space by the compact open topology, okay? So now, uh, so what's the homotopy extension property? And I can write it in maybe this little box here, okay? Is that, uh, so, the, so the definition, okay? So it just, it fits in this little box, okay? So we say I from A to X has the homotopy extension property, if and only if, okay? Well, for all maps, okay, so we start with our map like this. There's a little diagram that I'm going to write. And, and this is just kind of a categorical, category theory way of uh, talking about this. But, okay, it says that if you have a homotopy into, uh, into uh, right, like this, okay, so that's one of these. So if I have a homotopy, right, and... Uh, what I can do is I can I can take where this evaluates at zero, so this is the evaluation map. So I have a, a path. This is a bunch of paths, right? Uh, starting at so i is the interval zero one, and then I can evaluate them at zero, and I just get a point back. So all and, and for every point in W, I have a path starting at there, starting at um, that point. Okay, so this is a surjective map, but it says that if if I have a like if I start like this where I have this homotopy. This is the inclusion here of A into X, right? Um, then I, I'm saying inclusion. We don't know a priori that it's an inclusion, but it turns out that um, all co-fibrations will be closed subspaces, okay? But uh, we'll have this. Okay, so that there exists a lift of this homotopy, or sorry, uh, uh, an extension of the homotopy, right? So um, if you can deform uh, the map in A, and you have kind of a starting place for a deformation of a map, right? Then you can extend that, uh, st extend this this homotopy to all of X. Okay, so uh, homotopies on this sub thing extend to the whole thing. Okay, so that's maybe um, uh, confusing. So maybe let's talk about what this means. So so what does this mean? Okay, so, um, all right, so here's another way. I'm just going to draw it one, I'm going to draw it two ways, right? Okay, so here's kind of a, a bad way of doing it, but, okay, so I'm going to draw it like this. So we have some initial map here into W, and then we have another map here, and then we have this, this thing here. So it's saying that if I have some, like, seed map here, right, then you get this map here. So, like, if, if I can just extend the, 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 the first little nugget of this, right, then I get to extend the whole thing, okay, so this is a doodle, like a diagram doodle, okay, um, but the other way of doing it is, um, is, is to think about the path space, right, in terms of the path space, so this is a doodle drawing, so in terms of the path space, or uh, not path space, so let's say the mapping space, Because the path space is another thing that I'm going to talk about, so I shouldn't use that word. But it is a space of paths, right? Uh, and it, so, so here, um, uh, here we had, uh, um, okay, so so we had this thing here. A goes into uh, this thing. So the space of maps from I to here, right? And and so we saw before that this is equivalent to this thing. Go and we'll just call it F two. We'll call this one F abusively, like we said before. Okay, so this is by adjunction. Okay, and so what is this thing? So this is just a topological space, right? And so what we have here is, is uh, uh, just we have some starting point, right? And th so this is a map from A to W, and then, right? And then I've got a map here, so. Uh, so homotopies are really just paths in the mapping space. Okay, so so homotopies are 
our paths in the mapping space. Okay, and then we can kind of describe what the, the, the homotopy lifting property is. So let's, let's write down this property again. So we have A, X, I, okay? And it says that if I have a homotopy like this, okay? All right, and I have this seed here. This was evaluation. Then I get this lifted thing. So this is the the seed lift, and this is F tilde. Okay, so so you read this as okay. So we read it in the following way. That's an A. Uh, one, right? So uh, so so we're given. So given. Okay, so given two things, uh, this map here. Okay, now I'm using the adjunction, right? So this is this path here, like we just did. All right, and uh, two, the second thing that we're given is some seed thing, right, such that uh, here, I star uh, F0 tilde is equal to F0, right? So that's the, the, this is the beginning point here, and this is the starting point, right? So let me, let me kind of draw this, this thing. So, um, okay, uh, so then we get, uh, uh, so oh, let, me just say, let me just say the conclusion. So we get, so given, right, uh, we get, uh, uh, this this map uh, F. Uh, this map here F from uh, I to um, top X W. Okay, so now let, let me draw the picture here. So the picture is right. So we have uh, this space here. Right. This is um, this space here is uh, top. So maps from X to W, the big space to W. Okay, by restriction, right? So if I, if I take any function here, so in here you have F0 tilde. And then by restriction, right, uh, you get a map from here to W. So I, I can restrict this map to, so I get this, so there's a map from here to here, and I call this I star, okay? And so what this does is it takes this thing and it restricts it to A. Oh, okay, it restricts it to A. All right, so this is F0. So uh, that's what this condition says. It says this point in this space maps to this point in this space. Uh, that's maybe down here, okay? And then uh, what, we, what, we're, what we have now is, is we have this thing, which is a path in this bottom space, right? And what it says is that this path, if you're given a path plus a point, you get a lift. So this thing is, you, you get this lift. Uh, okay, so uh, th this is a, a path lifting. So, so homotopy extension is really path lifting in, uh, in, in terms of mapping spaces. So we have a little path down here and a seed, a starter of a path. Then once you have the starter of the path, you get to keep going. Okay, that, and that's an incredibly important concept. Um, in in uh, in this, so this is what's called the path lifting property. Okay, so so again, it's uh, uh, the the so uh, so here. Let me just do it real quick now, right? So uh, so we have the starter path, right? So this was F. This was the beginning of the maps, and then uh, if you're given this lift of the initial point, right? This tells you that. Okay, and this was this map I star. This was top A, W, and this is top uh, X, W, okay? So uh, this, you get uh, a lifted path. Okay, so this is uh, at capital F tilde, and this goes from F0 tilde to say something like F1 tilde. This is F0 and this is F1. 
All right. So uh, so this is uh, this is uh, the so path plus the seed. So the seed path on the bottom plus this thing gives you this lift for four things with the path lifting property. Okay. And so it turns out for um, so what we showed is that um, so what did we show? So we proved. Okay, so if A, if this thing here is a cofibration, then um, uh, the, the, the map, then this thing here, I star from top XW to top. Uh, uh, AW is a cofiber is is a is a uh, well is a fibration, but it, let's say it has the path lifting property. For every space W. Okay, so that's the that's the that's the key point. Okay, so that's this is what we proved. Okay, and so now we you may be asking, okay, so what's the path lifting property? Okay, so the path lifting property is the following. So, so we had some so the path lifting property. In this particular case, right? For this particular case, is that uh, so we have our starter point. This goes into here, and uh, so we have this uh, starter homotopy. Um, right. And then we get a lift of these maps. So, okay. So we have this. Sorry, we have this starter thing here, the bottom one. Then we have the uh, the starter point, f0 tilde. So here we just take a single point like this. And so this is the inclusion at 0 of this thing. Then, um, then we get this thing. So this thing exists, f tilde. Right? And that's, the, that's the, uh, the, the path lifting. OK? So um, uh, in general, right, in general, a fibration has uh, uh, the uh, homotopy lifting property. Okay, so in general, so a, a general way of formulated, formulating this is in terms of the homotopy lifting property. So, um, so let me just say what the homotopy lifting property is. Okay, so, uh, um, so okay, let me just do the same thing that we did before. So definition. Okay, so a vibration. Uh, so E to x is a morphism uh, that has the uh, homotopy lifting property. So we have homotopy extension and homotopy lifting. Okay, and this is we'll abbreviate HLP. I, okay. And um, and so uh, so then we need to give a definition of what the homotopy lifting property is. Okay, so the homotopy lifting property looks exactly like the path lifting property, but with this interval, this zero replaced with something more general. Okay, so in in these spaces here, replaced by e's and x's. So we're kind of kind of axiomatize this this uh, this thing here. So it says that here. Okay, so if given uh, here. So given this stuff, so we have a starter map. This is what we call P. Uh, and then we have the homotopy that we're start. This is our starter homotopy. We get a lift. Hey, it looks really similar, right, to the other diagram, right? Uh, they're dual. Right, so the, this diagram here, uh, so this is uh, this is the uh, this is the uh, homotopy lifting property. 
This is the definition of homotopy lifting. So given the outside box, you get this dotted arrow. Okay? So you have a starter point in this thing. So the difference is, is that this isn't in the path space, right? So the homotopy extension property is just the homotopy lifting property in the path space. Okay? So that, that, that's how they're dual. Um, so let me see if I have the other, other thing here. So yeah, so you can see that in, just to compare the two, right? In this one, you have the, the I cross down here, and then in this part, you have the adjoint. Okay? So they're a little different. Okay. Oh. Okay. So what are examples of uh uh oh okay okay okay. So um so this vibration Okay. Uh, let me fix these papers real quick. <laughs> 